So this is just an SAT short. We're going to go real quickly over one problem. This problem is labeled intermediate. Um, so a group of 60 teachers, uh, the average daily pay is $80. Another group earns $75 per day, and the rest earn $90 a day. How many teachers earn $75 per day? That's the question. Your choices are here, 24, 30, 36, and 48. You could add down, but you could sit up, and we could go 60 teachers. There's got to be an average, and we could start figuring it out, and we could start doing, like, X equals, you know, 80 average, 70, uh, Y would equal 75, and, like, Z would equal 90. Okay, but we don't want to do that because we really, that would be a weighted average where we knew what the weights were, but we don't know what's what. We don't know what's going on, so we don't do something like this. We actually get a formula. So when we move on, we take the information that was given up. So a group of 60 teachers make $80. That's the average daily pay. Sorry about that. The average is, this is right in front of you, average daily is 80. And there are 60 of them. So you get ready to multiply um, 60 teachers times $80. And on the next slide, you're going to see you can do your math, 6 times 8. And then just add all these zeros for those of you who remember this and that. And I, I even check this because sometimes even when you're doing something like this, you can still forget to add these two zeros. You know what I mean? Because it, it just, you know, make sure you're doing it so you get the it right. Um, so anyway, this is done here. And then you have 4,800. So you take 4,800 and you put it on this side of the equation. Why do you put it over here? Because if you put it on this side of the equation and set it up, you have something from which to solve. You try to, in general, when you're doing these problems, keep your larger numbers on this side. Okay? Try to keep large numbers on this side. Okay, then what we're going to do... Okay, so we have the 4,800 over here. So this is our product. This is what we're going to solve for. And then we have 60 teachers. And this, this right here I've, I've called the X factor for the simple fact that you put it back into the equation because you're going to need to combine X terms. Now, a lot of people think that they would put it 75 over here. But if you do that, you're going to have X squared. Then you're going to get complicated, and you're going to have to unsquare the x squared, use square root brackets, and you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem, and then that is just taking up your time, because then instead of adding straight across, you're going to add backwards. Okay, so anyway, um, we're going to use the distributive property to do this side and this side, and that's on the next slide. So on the next slide, here it is done for you. You have 100 times 60, and then 100, this is times x, but this is a negative. So this negative comes down here, and you get negative 100x. So now you have 6,000. You already had 75x over here, so you just bring it straight down, and you keep solving. Okay, so now you have 75x plus, and these are going to cancel out. And look what's happening. Your equation is starting to add itself. And you took this over to the other side. Um, when you take 6,000 over to this side, it's negative because it's positive here. But it's a negative here, so when you take it over, it becomes a negative 1,200. And this will take care of itself. This will take care of itself. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it's kind of like around it, but you get the point. Okay, now look what's going on here. You already have this. Remember I said take care of itself? You like terms are here. Um, your 75x is here, and your 
100x is here. These are like terms because both have an x here. So that's negative 25x equals 1,200. We put 1,200 up, and if you think about it, the other slide showed you there was a 5. You can go back and pause that. But if you took 5 into each side of this, which you have, you're going to have 5 goes into each one of these numbers. You can do 25 into 120, but people get confused because they'll say that this is even and this is odd. And they'll start thinking, oh my gosh, I must have done something wrong because I don't have an equation that's really balancing out. But actually, you do. You do. And, you know, what you have to remember is that you're going to try to reduce into lower terms and people say 5 doesn't go into 12. No, it doesn't. But think about what goes on. And when we turn to the next slide, you see that 5 does not go into 12, but you have a remaining 5 times 2 is 10. And so therefore, you have a 2 remaining. You bring the 0 down. And now 5 does go into 20, and that's 4 right here. And then you have your two zero zeros. You bring them down. You have no remainder. So therefore, you have a 240, and 5 goes into itself five times. These are both negatives. So guess what? Your answer is going to be positive. So your answer over here is, is going to be now 240. See the positives because two negatives, a negative times a negative equals a positive. <laughs> That's now a positive and so is that. So you just make them both positive. Now you have a five into 240. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 4 down times 8. This problem was designed to scare you, but it really isn't if you think about the math and what's going on. And again, you are using the distributive property. You are using averages, but keep in mind the average was already given to you. And you were just trying to set this up the best way, however your mind comes. And here's the situation. Um, all of these will leave you, these answers will leave you with an answer that you can combine. Like 16 minus 24 is going to give you an even answer. Okay, so people are like, okay, I'll just guess and, and, and throw something down. And, you know, that still leaves me with 36 teachers. And then some people are going to say, let me try the upper, you know, level and the lower level. Lower would be 30, 24 and higher would be 36. And then people are going to go for 30. And then you have this number when you divide this. And some people say, hey, I'm running out of time. This is 36. But if you can shorten your time and just think through what you're doing, 60 times 80 is 4,800 4, and then try to figure out how the rest of this works even if you run out of time you still know you were given 75 and 100 per day so your mind should be thinking what to do with that and think about it you would get like 175 divided into 4,800 so what would your answer be 4,100 75 into 4,800 divided, you come out with 27.42. And 27.42 is not the answer. So that means your answer would have to go up 2.68 to get to 30. So you knew you did something off. So what would you think about doing next? Well, you'd have to do something to get your average again and add these 60 teachers into it, which is why you had the original equation. So that's why the equation that I gave to you is um, on this page. And the next slide, we're just going to show it just to remind you to get your mind used to looking at what's going on. 
So don't pay this any attention. This is a, we're just using this word mentalism to kind of have some fun here because a lot of people are stressing out about the SAT and the PSAT, which you can use this to study for the PSAT. Um, and here you have, um, once again, think about mentally what's going on, 60 teachers. Remember, this came from 60 minus X. And then you had 75x, because that's the amount you're solving, plus 100. Isn't that great? So you want to think about what mentally is going on. So you originally had this equation to get to this side and you use distributive property to get over here. And then when you multiply this, you got 6,000, which was positive. And then over here, you got negative 100x. But this again was your 60 teachers over here. X is what you're solving. That's why we called it the X factor. 75x is what you really need. And it's X, why? It's the number of teachers that got this amount. So your mind has to think backward. And then it has to go back and think forward. So you want the amount of teachers that you're trying that earned the $75 per day. And then what is this? 60 times the average. This is the average given to you. You just want to know the daily averages. Okay, and mentalism, state of being mental. <laughs> okay, just look at this, check this, go through it in your head, play it over and over again, and when you want to, freeze the slides, and just think what's going on so that you're not stressing yourself out, and you're not going crazy, and you know, use what you have and try to put it together. And again, this problem was considered intermediate, like not very easy, but not the hardest on the SAT or PSAT, but you do have to kind of think what's going on. Okay, and to some people, this problem is very hard because what happens is you don't know what to place and where to put things, which is why you guys should be doing SAT prep at school. You should be online, even if you're on YouTube, using somebody else and going over as many of these problems as you possibly can if you want to get the high score. If you don't need the high score, we get it, but if you want to. Thanks for watching with Jacob, it's learning. Have a great day.